All right. Welcome to an in sort of impromptu session about Instagram and posting from Instagram to Instagram from your computer. We're going to first use Instagram on our computer. I have a Mac, works the same on a PC, and I'm going to be first using Google Chrome browser and then I will demonstrate using the Safari browser. I want to thank Georgia Applegate for sharing with me how to do this using Chrome uh, because I was doing it a more complicated way. So let's get started. First we want to go to Instagram and I already have my Instagram pulled up. So first step, open Instagram and choose your profile and that's the one that we're looking at right now with my name and my picture and um, the three across, ah, that's not what we're looking at. There we go. This is mine. This is my profile. There's my little dog. There's my little dog. And there's my little post. So I have not used Instagram at all, except when we were getting ready for this session. So I made the first couple of posts from my phone. And then I did one from the computer so that I knew that I could do that. So here we are, as it says, I have three whole posts. All right. So the instructions for using this on Chrome is to right click on one of your previous posts. And then down at the very bottom, it says inspect. So click on inspect. And then we get this that looks like a phone. And then we get all this gobbledygook over at the side. So we want to first step is to refresh the page on the top left of your browser. The refresh is this cute little circle with an arrow, part circle with an arrow on it. So click refresh. And now that I have refreshed the browser, I can use it just like on a phone because now I have this circle or this uh, plus button and that's how we upload a picture. Now I'm going to get rid of all this gobbledygook over here and make it easier for me to use on my computer. I'm going to go up to the right hand side here and click close and that closes all that extraneous stuff and now I still have my Instagram and I can use it just like if I were on a phone. I can add posts. For example, I can go here. I can find pictures. I have tons of pictures. When I was on the carousel with on the giraffe and there we are. So there's my new post. So then we want to click on next. I don't write a caption. I wish the carousel was still open for us all to play together. Ah, they do are taking reservations for very small groups. All right, so that's that. And then I share it. That was a pretty big picture, so we'll see. There it is. Okay, now we will look at posting to Instagram on our computer using the Safari browser. I've already got this installed, but I'll show you what you need to do. First of all, we're opened Instagram, and here we are. Look, AUW of Oregon has posted another. It's Black History Month, so they posted this nice posting. But we want to go to our profile, so I want to go to Nancy, to Nancy Brown, not just to my feed of all the things that other people are posting. So this is my page, my profile page for Instagram. And you'll see Nancy on the carousel giraffe that we posted when we were just on the Chrome browser. So now we're going to do it on the Safari browser to see how this works. So we have in the upper left hand side of our browser, we select the Safari menu and then preferences. And on mine, it's the third down, Preferences. Then we go all the way to the far right, Advanced, and show we check the box 
that says show develop menu in the menu bar, which immediately makes a menu item called develop up here in the top left in my menu bar. So I click that, develop, and I want to be user agent. Now, what we're doing is we're going to be looking at our web page like we were either on a phone or an iPad. This is what web developers do when they want to see what their website's going to look like on the different devices, the different sizes, because as you know, things show up differently on the different size devices. So that's what they're, they do use this for. We're going, we use it for something different. So user agent, and then we're able to choose do I want it to be like an iPhone, an iPod, an iPad mini, or an iPad? Well, I, wa I wanted phone. I mean, I don't really care. I just want it to show up with this cute little plus sign down here that allows me to post. So now we have that. I'm going to post something else on my account. Wow, two in one day. And it's um, a smile on a stick and I'll post choose next I'll write a caption which I had already written the smile on a stick is but I hadn't typed right is my favorite way to feel better when things aren't as fun as I'd like I used mine for every chemo session years ago and it worked it did too so I'm going to share it and there it is, there's my smile on a stick showing up in the feed. And if I go back to my own page, which I can do two different ways, I can click my name up here at the top of my picture or also down at the bottom of my page, there's my little face. And I can click my little face and it takes me right to my page. So there we are, the smile on a stick is next to the giraffe and Nancy on it and then my cuddly dog and my quote and this is now I now have five whole posts on my Instagram woohoo so hopefully this is helpful and you can figure this out and use it yourself if not you know how to get in touch with me and we can figure it out together thanks for joining me take care bye